Yo Mama is so fat, if we convert her weight to megabytes, she weighs almost as much as newreddit.com. Or at least, that is what we're going to test out today. In my last video, I mentioned how JavaScript can be used with client-side routing to avoid downloading an entire HTML page every time you navigate to a part of a website. And the idea is, if you go to a lot of different pages on a website, this can actually be more efficient. And so here's the thing, new Reddit uses that technique, but it is kind of trash. And so what I wanted to do in this video is from a technical perspective, look at it and see, is it as bad as what people say? Because there's two big complaints I hear about it. Number one, the design is just disgusting. And there's not much I can do about that. But the second one is it is just slow and bloated. So I wanna see how slow, how bloated is new Reddit. All right, so I got incognito up and I think I'm gonna do everything in here. That way I don't have any browser extensions that change anything. And I'm just gonna right click inspect to open up dev tools and I'm going to head over to the network tab. So this, whenever we load a page, we'll be able to see everything and see how much is loading and how long it takes. So now I'm going to head on over to newreddit.com for the third time in my life. Um, new Reddit. Well, this is not a good start. 503 first byte timeout. Okay. This is really not a good start. Okay, sweet, so reddit.com loaded for me. I'm not sure why new Reddit wasn't working, but we'll just use this since this uses new Reddit anyway. And so my network tab here, I can see all the different requests that happened when I loaded this page. And I can see all the pictures, the JavaScript, all that fun stuff. And so on the bottom left here, I can see that a total of 245 requests happened to load everything for this page. And then 12.2 megabytes was transferred and then 17.7 megabytes of resources was loaded. Huh, I actually don't know what the difference between these two things are. All right, Stack Overflow to the rescue. Transferred is the compressed size of the resources. You can think that this is the amount of upload and download data that a mobile user will use in order to load the page and resources is uncompressed size of all the resources. Okay, so one of them is just the gzipped value and the other size is the total size, okay. Then what I'll do is I'll just keep track of the transferred and ignore the resources because transferred is what's actually gonna be loaded across the internet or whatnot. And then the last part here is the load time. So what I did is I just right clicked and I did empty cache and hard reload and it took 20.66 seconds with nothing cached. Like what is it loading on this page that has it transferring 12.2 megabytes? So the first thing is an MP4 file, MP4, MP4. And if we just click on this and we right click, copy, link address. Okay, yeah, it's just a video playing. Okay, so that's just the content of their website. If I just filter by MP4s, 5.9 megabytes is videos. So the first question is why is new Reddit loading so many videos of this size and old Reddit is not? Also one thing I just saw, all the top requests are videos and then there's a random PNG. First off, how is this PNG moving? I didn't think PNGs could move. What the heck is this? Why is this not a GIF? That's weird. So they have a PNG that is moving that is 1.1 megabytes, okay? So the first thing that I noticed about old Reddit is they're not loading any MP4 files initially. And I guess it's not until I actually like click on one of these and now it starts loading these. Yep. Okay, so they lazy load the videos until you actually wanna see it. Old Reddit still loads a hunk of JavaScript for their video player. Like that's bigger than the actual page. So oldred.com is here, it's 144 kilobytes, but the JavaScript for the video player is 157. And they were somehow able to figure out how to make a small PNG rocket that's moving, but new Reddit just increased the size of their, their moving emoji PNG things by like tenfold for some reason. What I'm trying now is loading a subreddit that doesn't have any videos, so we can just ignore that easily. And so I loaded programming humor and new Reddit does a lot better. Only has four megabytes that it loads. And if we go to old Reddit, it is close to one megabyte. And if I just scroll up to see what the biggest thing that's being loaded here, I can see again on new red, it's just because they're loading the images of the actual posts, or at least the top two are. So like when I scroll this, I actually see images. But when I scroll old reddit, I don't, unless I press this, you know, to load it like that. But they have JavaScript for what looks like governance, chat governance, chat governance, 
And some of it also looks like it is for ads. So I just turned on uBlock Origin. That way it just takes ads out of the equation. And new Reddit improved by a tiny bit. It's now at 3.7 megabytes. And old Reddit improved a little bit as well. It is now closer to 700 kilobytes. What I want to do now is just take the images out of the equation that are associated with the posts and just compare the JavaScript, the CSS, and the HTML, and then maybe any JSON that new Reddit loads. I just realized I can just command click these and I can just keep these four tabs open and then we're good. Then I don't have to spreadsheet. So I'm just going to do that. So it's going to filter these four resources just like that. And we can see it's 1.5 megabytes and we're just going to head on over to top now. Wait a second. 13.1 thousand members. That's absolutely nothing. What the heck am I even doing here? I'm on the totally wrong subreddit. And you guys didn't even say anything. You're just like, ha ha ha, I'm not going to let them know. And uh, here we are. Okay, so I'm actually on the right subreddit now, but I'm also seeing that it loads MP4s. So what I think I might do is just like right click and block the request domain. It's at 1.9 megabytes now, that looks good. So let's go back to top now of the day and we'll just click on some posts. So I'm gonna clear and comments. And how much are we loading? 500 kilobytes? And what are we loading? So the comments of the page was 161. A sidebar ad. How am I getting a sidebar ad? I literally have incognito on. Oh, this is a native ad that Reddit has. So it's actually coming from Reddit's API. Okay, they're loading the JSON for the ad. Interesting. And it's got a GQL request? Is it using some GraphQL? Edges? That looks like Relay to me. Nice ad post we got there. Okay, these are just the subreddit posts. Okay, so it does a GQL request to load 27 posts. That's weird. So what I did is I clicked on the comments to load this post and it loaded all the posts, like 27 posts. I'm gonna go to the next post, 160, 144. Let's go to C++. Oh, this one's a little bit more. I'm back on old Reddit. I load the top posts and we're going to click on comments and we're going to see what happens. So that was 165 kilobytes. Dang. Why is old Reddit just so good? 183. And what is the majority of this? So it looks like, yeah, it's literally just loading the entire page as HTML and it just serves that. And that's just, just good. Just the way you should be doing it. What I think is killing new Reddit right now is this request that they load sidebar ads. And the sidebar ad post thing that they're loading is 90 kilobytes and it's bigger than all the other requests after it loads the initial JS that it needs to load. I think I might try just blocking the request URL, but only blocked the ads domain and the comments still showed up and only 35 kilobytes was loaded for this, this post. So th see, the content of the post is actually not that heavy. It's this extra junk that new Reddit loads in that messes things up. I just reloaded the page and now what I wanna see is if I just go through and I click a bunch of different posts on new Reddit, how much data is accumulated over all of those page loads. So I just have it up open here on the right and the initial load took 1.8 megabytes for this page. And we're just gonna see as I click on these things, go to the next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The total amount of data that it loaded for me clicking on those 10 posts, or at least clicking on the comments for those 10 posts was 2.4 megabytes. So you can see like at first it loads a big hunk and then it loads a little bit more JS when I click on the first comments of the post above. But then after that, it's just making a JSON request to get the data for the comments and for the post. And it's not that heavy after that. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on old Reddit. And so I just refresh the page. We're sitting at 221 kilobytes. Let's go. So first post, second post, third post, fourth post, fifth post, and you can immediately see as we're, we're doing this, if you're looking at the KBs over there, that uh, it is just adding up faster than when we did the JS version or the new Reddit version. So we're at 1.3 megabytes. This is what, post six, but it's zero base. So this is actually post seven. So this is post eight, post nine, and post 10. 
So the grand total for old Reddit is 1.6 megabytes. So it actually did catch up quite a bit to new Reddit, um, but it still beats it by a decent amount because new Reddit is sitting over here at 2.4 megabytes. But I think it's pretty safe to say that it's possible at maybe like 20, 25 posts if we load that many, that it's possible for new Reddit to actually be more efficient than old Reddit assuming we cut out all the crap that we did with new Reddit. I'm way too lazy to actually test this out though and click 20, 30 posts. Clicking on 10 posts was already a struggle. So we're just gonna have to leave this up to a mystery because I think for the most part, I got what I wanted out of this exercise. The main takeaway for me is that new Reddit is just a hot mess. And I think it has less to do with the tech stack that they picked and more so with they just seem to be loading a ton of content up front that you may or may not use. Whereas old Reddit seems to wait and lazy load that content when you actually want to see it or when you click on it. I do think new Reddit has potential, but I had to do a pretty contrived example to get even remotely close to the performance or not even the performance, the amount of data that old Reddit loads. And so they have quite a bit of work to get even close to old Reddit at this point, And that's their old product. So for the time being, I am going to be sticking with old Reddit. Big surprise.